Good morning. It's Thursday and it is our day at sea. Once again, my lens is fogging up because it's nice and humid out here, but it is a gorgeous morning. We are actually about to head out to brunch at Palo, which is the same restaurant we went to on the first night of our cruise for dinner. We're going there for brunch today. So I'll bring my camera and as usual, if it's appropriate to film, I will. If not, I'll tell you about it afterwards, but we're really looking forward to it. Here we are at Palo and we are tucked away in a corner booth. So I definitely feel comfortable filming. Look at our view. Here's the brunch menu. So there's also a buffet, which I'll show you in a minute, but this is the menu and you can order whatever you want, as much as you want from here. He said the two favorites are the Parmesan crusted chicken breast and the lasagna bolognese. <coughs> Ah, it's so beautiful in here. So we just went through the buffet and our waiter guided us, so I didn't want to be narrating it while he was narrating it. But here's the things that I got. This is chocolate brioche, some fruit and berries with homemade whipped cream. This is um, caprese. This is cheddar cheese with port wine, cheddar cheese with sage, a little cracker, and some salami or something. And this is eggplant with feta and tomato. And then they brought me a homemade, like they made it this morning, almond croissant, some coffee, some fresh orange juice, and Riley. I got some um, caviar here, um, crab legs, uh, smoked salmon mousse, mahi, er, what is that? It was Cajun. It was Cajun tuna. Cajun tuna, pretty raw, looks delicious. Gorgonzola and um, half blue, half gorgonzola. The buffet was stunning, like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah. these are our selections, and then we also have hot food coming. So for our first like course post buffet, I got blueberry pancakes and some fresh whipped cream with some warmed syrup and we got some more coffee. This is like honestly the best coffee either of us have had all year. It's so delicious. And Riley got <laughs> Eggs <Get it> Benedict. <laughs> it's wobbling because we're moving on the ship and it has smoked salmon on it. And hollandaise. And hollandaise. This is like the most delicious meal of all time. It's so good. And um, Riley ordered the chicken parmesan for us to split, and he actually just split it for us table side. So this is the little half and the other half. Apparently this is one of the top ones. And here is our last um, non-dessert course. I don't know how to say it. And this is not on the menu, but I have heard it recommended in the Disney community for years. And it is the goat, um, excuse me, the gorgonzola and grape pizza. And they make it in their pizza oven here on board. And I've heard it's just delicious. So. All right, we just checked out the dessert bar. And um, I got, this is a pistachio, chocolate something obviously this is chocolate covered strawberry this is some kind of lemon meringue berry thing it didn't have a sign so i'm not exactly sure riley got quite a few things this, this is a white chocolate almond brownie a cappuccino mousse hazelnut that's all that kind of thing um ricotta chocolate um cannoli, cannoli and um tiramisu tiramisu it is, I mean, the food here is just beautiful. The spreads are so gorgeous. Our waiter just brought this out and said it was for our baby girl. She's gonna love it. <laughs> so we're on our way out and here is the dessert bar. And this is the kind of main buffet room in here. Over here we have some of the sweeter breads and berries and things like that. Some sticky buns down there. This chocolate brioche was amazing. This one has some of the more savory things, lots of cheeses and there's caviar and salmon mousse and all different kinds of things like that. And finally, this is all of the seafood. So this is where Riley spent a lot of his time. There's shrimp and scallops, tuna, crab legs, all kinds of yummy stuff. It's a beautiful
beautiful meal in a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Right when you walk in, there's this gorgeous glass balloon chandelier that they imported from, I forget exactly where, but they said that it's made to look like all the different types of pasta noodles, which is really cool. And then there's the restaurant in here. All right, goodbye, Paolo. Thanks for another delicious meal. And then this is called the Meridian Lounge. It's sort of like a lounge and bar. And then Remy is down that way, which we went on in our lap. Here's the painting when you're walking up to Paolo and Remy, and it's so cute. Remy's just dreaming about being a chef. I love it. And we're heading on down to our room. Hey guys, it's about 12.45 now. We had Palo brunch from about 10 to noon. It was about a two hour event. It was spectacular. I mean, truly outstanding. Every single thing we ate was delicious. We had the same server that we had. They, they coordinated it so that we would have the same server who we had on our first night when we ate dinner there, which was really fun because he, you know, of course he remembered us and so we could chat with him. And it was just, it's just so nice. The service here is just unbelievable. So we did that and then we headed back to our room and we are disembarking tomorrow morning, but we're actually flying up to Maryland where my side of the family lives for a couple of family events. And although we could do laundry when we get there, we actually really kind of need to do laundry now because we, we packed with the intention of doing laundry on the ship. Um, so we did two loads of laundry on the ship and um, so we're gonna go and shop while those finish washing and then we can throw them in the dryer and we'll be done. Um, they make it pretty easy. You could, Everything's done with your, your key to the world card so you can buy detergent like that and you buy credits to wash and everything else. So they make it really, really easy. But anyway, we're gonna go shop a little bit in the gift shops and then finish up doing laundry and then just enjoy the rest of our beautiful day at sea. The weather is stunning. It's just been like such a nice relaxing day. So that's what we're up to. So we're in the laundry room. I figured I might as well show you how it works. So what you do is you come to this little station and you tap your key to the world card here. And then you can purchase basically e-tokens for product if you wanna buy dryer sheets, bleach, or detergent. And then you also purchase tokens for wash and dry cycle. So the wash cycles are $3, the dry cycles are $3, and then the products are $1 each. So a dollar for a, two dryer sheets and a dollar for a box, a little box of Tide. Um, <clears throat> then, so this one we have to do. So this one, so you tap it, and it says that I have one dry available. Anyway, like I was saying, this one's broken, but in essence, what you would do is you would tap your card, and then you would, it says redeem one dry, and you would click this, and it would say okay, and then you could start your dryer. This is not working, this particular one, but we, have the, we got the other one to work, and we have the two washers going, so that's, that's the story. It's pretty nice, and they do text you on your phone once it's dry, or um, once the washing is done, so that you can go and do your own thing until you know you want to. Plus, there, since there's not irons in the room, since there are fire hazard, there are irons here. So if for some reason you need to do a load of laundry on vacation, they do make it pretty easy for you to be able to do so. And they have cute little nautical tiles. All right, so we did a little shopping just now. I wanted a long sleeve t-shirt, so this is the back of it. I think it's really cute. Disney Cruise Line, Wonder Magic, Dream Fantasy, the names of the four ships, established 1998. And then on the front, it has the little Disney Cruise Line logo. And then we got two different cups. This one is stainless steel and it says Disney Cruise Line 2019 on one side. And then it has the Mickey anchor on the back. And it is a Tervis with a lid that locks. And then this is another one that we got. This is, says Life's Better at Sea. It's another Tervis tumbler. This one is the classic Tervis tumbler. Super cute. We use these all the time. We always have drinks with us. And then I just love this little stationery. It says Disney Cruise Line. It just comes with a little envelope. I thought that was really pretty. So those are the things we got. Let me see if I can pull out what we got yesterday on Castaway Key. I know I can't show the ornament until I get back home because it's all wrapped up. But the other things I think I can show. And then yesterday on Castaway Key we got a really cool ornament. Like a 
I think I might have shown it actually in the vlog, but it was like an ear hat, um, a Mickey ear hat that all had castaway stuff. And then we got these two little magnets. Riley's been on this magnet kick lately. So we got this one um, with Olaf, and then we got this little one. I don't know what his plans necessarily are for these, but they're maybe just for our fridge, both of them. It's one of them for work. Maybe, yeah, possibly. Really cool. And then we got these two reusable bags in the small size. The Castaway is a small size, and then this one is a medium size, and they're exclusive. You can only get them on board, but we use reusable bags a lot for grocery shopping and just taking things around and things like that, so they'll be great for that. So those are our souvenirs for this trip. Now, unfortunately, since we are getting off of the ship tomorrow, we have gotten our information um, for like breakfast tomorrow and these tags that we put on our bags and we put it outside of our door and then they'll take the luggage off the ship for us and all that so we've gotten all of that and so for the rest of the day today we're just continuing to enjoy our day at sea we're still sailing you can see sort of let's see and but we are starting we're doing laundry starting to kind of pack up just a little bit while we're enjoying this ship because we do have to get off first thing in the morning and fly up to Baltimore. Listen to how peaceful. Okay, you guys, Jack Jack's diaper dash is starting in five minutes. This is like legit my favorite thing about the whole cruise. I'm obsessed with it. They put five crawling babies down and then they do a race and then they do heats. So the winner of each heat, you know, they all compete and there's like finals and then there's a championship and everything. And last year I loved it more than anything. I mean, it was so funny. So we're going to film it and watch it again. Ha <laughs> ha
We're back in the adult only section, which we haven't spent a whole bunch of time in on this trip because I've been so tired, but this is this really cute pink champagne bar. And then there's a bar out here. Then this is really neat. It's really, really cool. It's a really big area. And then there, this is called the District Lounge. And then there's like several other spots back there. There's one, there's like a Pub 687. There's a place called Evolution that's huge that they do like evening events in for adults. It's really quite nice. We just walked into D Lounge and we are going to do an Anyone Can Cook seminar. And we're making lobster ravioli today. I have a, a random question. Yes. Just watching you chop the, the vegetable there. How how many times have you uh -huh. accidentally got the fingers and not what you were chopping? <laughs> Thank you. It always worries me every time I watch <laughs> chefs do this. A few so, times. A few one times. or two. It's normally the nails that come off first. It like this. So it's never really actually ever going to cut yourself. It's just um, sometimes when you're not focusing, this is obviously when we tend to chop our fingers. It's like if you want to boil eggs and have a really soft egg in the middle, boil it for six minutes. Okay. <laughs> it's to add a little bit of height so uh, we don't um, get too much in one place, should I say. So seasoning. Taste. Taste is very important. As we do, um, I have to taste. Yes, we do the same thing every single day, but I have to taste everything every single day all the time just to make sure that we um, Seasoning is correct. Everyone's done the right thing, put in the right thing. Chiffonade. The basil. We are watching Incredibles 2 and we just finished doing Anyone Can Cook and we just popped back to the room for a minute to pack up because they are going to pull our suitcases tonight. And so we decided, since we never ate lunch, um, we did have a big brunch, but we didn't eat lunch. So we ordered some things off room service, which is in this handy little book. And I have um, a couple more things that we're kind of working on packing, but otherwise we're good to go for getting this stuff picked up tonight. And then we'll carry on a couple of things tomorrow just because, you know, we need toiletries tomorrow morning and uh, an outfit and everything else. But it's been such a good day. It's been such a beautiful day to be sailing. Hasn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. I love day at seas, days at sea. Me too. They're so relaxing. Just anywhere on the ship where there's a window, which there are lots, you can just look out and see the beautiful, beautiful ocean. It's lovely. All right, we got our little room service. It's about 4.30 now. We don't eat until about 8.30 or 9. So we're kind of having a late lunch. So we got... Uh, cheese and cracker plate that looks really good and some warm chocolate chip cookies Ooh, they're super warm they and then we got some wings yum with just some water and then milk to go with the uh, cookies so just a little snacky snacky kind of late lunch before dinner this was room service room service is included with the cruise it's free but it is customary to tip a few bucks i gave our guy five dollars um, some people would say that you give like $1 per food item, so that would be like $3, the cookies the, and these two. But, you know, $5 seemed appropriate to me for his all his troubles coming up here. So anyway, but this is all included. It's not an extra cost. All right, we just finished packing up those couple of suitcases over there and like the backpack we're going to use um, to carry on so that we can pack up our toiletries and things that we need tonight. But our lovely stateroom is it's our last night in it. It's sad. We're heading to go see Beauty and the Beast tonight um, because that's the show and not the movie. It's a live, you know, Broadway style production. It is stunning. We saw it last year and loved it. So we're going to see that tonight and then we're going to dinner at Royal Palace. I'm really sad this is ending soon. It's been a really fun day at sea.
We just got our seats in the theater. I realize I don't think I've had any FaceTime on this vlog today. I look crazy right now because of this lighting. <laughs> but we got a really good seat. I always try to sit behind kids because then I know that like I can see over them. Even though I'm not short, sometimes these tall people with a hats and I can't see. So that's my little tip. So here's the theater before the show starts. We just saw Beauty and the Beast, which is outstandingly awesome. And our stateroom hostess left us a crab, which is very appropriate because we're heading to Maryland tomorrow afternoon. Now we're gonna head to dinner. We're up on deck four again. I don't remember if I filmed this yesterday, but we hung out here for a while yesterday. We're just enjoying the ocean, the beautiful sea. We have dinner in about 35 or 40 minutes. So we have some time to hang out here. It's been such a relaxing day. We've done a few little things here or there, but mostly we've just enjoyed being at sea. It's been so nice. The lighting's a little bad, but you can sort of see all these big yellow boats above us. They are all the life rafts. They hold a lot of people, each one of them does. And they're all, or at least a lot of them are here, suspended above deck four. Oh really? Yeah. What are they supposed to be? Uh, something else. Orange maybe? Yeah, but they're like Mickey yellow. Aww, of course they are. We just got seated in Royal Palace. This is my favorite of the rotational dining restaurants. There's so many neat little touches. Princesses here and there's um, glass slippers on the chandelier over there and the napkins are folded into little tuxedos it's just a really pretty restaurant we came we're in here a little bit later than our actual reservation time so it's quite loud because everybody's in here but it's just a beautiful restaurant and the food is really good it's French our menus just arrived I really love this restaurant I think it has the best food of any of the three rotational dining restaurants and um, I am planning on getting the French onion soup for my dinner with um, the pear salad. Well, maybe like appetizer and entree or something like that. They also have some really good main courses, but between eating at Paolo this morning for a big brunch and then having a snack, it was a few hours ago, but I'm not overly hungry. So I'm probably, probably gonna skip any of these, but they have some really good options as well as vegetarian and lighter note. And Disney does um, offer a, a very wide accommodating variety for people who have food allergies. We've sat next to a lot of people with food allergies who have described a variety of different ones, including a few people who have had pretty severe, who have had, you know, dairy and nuts and eggs and you know somebody who has a pretty extensive you know high risk food allergy situation and disney has gone i've watched them go out of their way so just so that you know if you have food allergies disney pretty much does take care of you so i've seen and heard tonight's bread is a french country bread with olive oil oh and i got my <laughs> I got my special drink again. He's been bringing it to me every night. Is that on? I got escargot, which I had last year, which I love escargot. That's his appetizer, and I am starting with that arugula salad, which has some, I forget what it exactly has. It obviously has red onions. This is a red wine poached pear, which sounds really good. And then there's some other things and there's some, it's a champagne vinaigrette or something like that. So this sounds really, really yummy. We finished up with our appetizers and now we're moving on to what we're kind of having as our entree. So I'm having the French onion soup, which I had, I think I had this exact same meal, the same salad, same soup last year at this restaurant and I loved it. The salad was delicious. Pears are my favorite fruit. I love them and I rarely eat them. And um, the French onion soup looks amazing. And then Riley got this farmhouse salad, which looks super yummy, has like some potatoes in it, and it's a little bit more of a hearty salad. And then he got French onion soup as well. So good, good dinner. Yeah. We just finished up with dinner, and this is the dessert menu. It comes in like a little royal envelope. And you open it up, and there's 
at the top these are all specialty drinks and then at the bottom are the dessert options and I'm gonna get the creme brulee and Riley's still deciding but I think he's gonna go with this all right it's dessert time I ordered the creme brulee which looks super yummy and Riley got this uh, the opera gateau yeah something like that and then our waiter said that he recommended this souffle so he brought it out for us to try and the dessert just keeps coming our waiter said this is the apple tart. Uh, some kind of apple tart something and he said this this the souffle and the creme brulee are his three favorite desserts of all time on the ship and he wanted us to try them all so we didn't order either of these but he just brought them out which was super sweet so we're excited to give him a taste
Neptune party. It was, it was super cute. I guess so. What do you want? Oh, you want to go up to the top deck? See if that sure. beam's on. Oh yeah. We just saw the See You Real Soon party, which is the very end thing. It's super, super cute. They do like gold confetti Mickeys and the whole nine yards, you know. Disney does it big. But we're heading up to the top deck um, because they are playing an NBA Finals game. Up, they call it Funnel Vision. It's that really big pool. I mean, um, that really big screen right by the pool. So we're gonna go see that because we have always wanted to watch a movie or something up there at night and just never have. So we're gonna go try to do that. It's been a really fun night. Well, we're back in our room. It's after 11 p.m. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day at sea. I filmed little snippets here and there, but largely we just explored the ship, found little places to relax, watch the water go by. We didn't lay out or go in the pools today because we both have some sunburn. As much as we try to take care of our skin and had, you know, high SPFs on, um, we both have very fair skin, so, you know. We're just not built for <laughs> we're not built for the Caribbean as much as we try to, um, but we went upstairs just now and watched the basketball game. That was really fun to be up there with everybody, and now we just got back to our um, stateroom and we're kind of getting ready for bed. And um, I don't think I don't suspect I'll film much tomorrow, if at all. I don't think I'll probably do a separate vlog. Um, if I film anything, I might tack it on to the end of this vlog. I'm not sure, but we have to. Our breakfast time is at 8 a.m. So we'll be there at 8 a.m. And it's just like normal breakfast offerings like waffles, pancakes, eggs, things like that. And then um, pretty much after breakfast, so like 9, between 9 and 10 a.m., we will start um, disembarking from the ship. And then from there, we are getting a Disney transport to the airport. And then we're flying, as I've said in previous vlogs, I might have said it in this one too. I think I did because of the crab that she made with the towel animal. Um, we're flying up to Baltimore, Maryland. Um, to spend a few days with my side of the family because we have two family events this weekend so it worked out well we are already on the east coast for us to just fly up so anyway i hope you have enjoyed following along with our walt disney world trip and this disney cruise it has been such a fun 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 trip that we've had it's just been like we've just loved every moment of it it's been really special it's so funny because it feels like a completely different experience like it's like we did half of everything last time and we did the other half of everything this time and together i feel like we've done pretty much everything on board except for just a couple of things that didn't work out either time um, but the energy on this cruise has been so much higher just because the weather's been so much better in fact today the cruise director said that this has been the best this past week that we've been on this ship or the past five days has been the best weather that they have had um, on this Disney dream for the past two months and I completely believe it. we have not had one drop of rain we've barely even had any clouds it's just been like stunning sunny gorgeous gorgeous weather like perfect for being at the beach or at the pool so anyway um, it's been really fun we have just really really enjoyed ourselves so we're heading to bed in the next 30 minutes or so so we can get a good night's sleep get up early get to breakfast get off the ship and we have a little bit of a travel day tomorrow but i really appreciate y'all following along following along make sure you give this video a thumb <laughs> i can't talk i really appreciate y'all following along make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more i will see you guys soon thanks for watching bye